How many times do you have to literally stop on both of those shows because you guys just crack each other up? Oh, we do a lot. I would say, <laughs> I would say uh, uh, we, on The Good Place, we try really hard to keep a straight face. Ted yeah, because that's the, that's the tension of it. Yeah. That's the fun of right. it. Right, and then just wait until they, they call cut. But Ted is probably the biggest breaker. He loves a giggle. Oh, you I know believe him. that. Yeah, I yeah. do, I do. He's a real giggle machine, this Ted Danson. I know, you just want to tickle him all day. Yeah. He's just such a fun guy, and he has such a great laugh. Yeah, you guys should tickle Ted Danson. <laughs> <laughs> Mary might have a problem and with she, it. I don't, I don't know. know. She probably, yeah, she's probably into it. So if these guys don't know the show, you can't really give them spoilers, right. but I mean, you are here to sell it, so work it, girl. Okay. Set it up. Okay, so first of all, shame on you if you haven't watched it. I know, because it really is smart. Yeah, it's great. It's so smart. Yeah, and if you'll feel smarter if you watch the show. How about that? That's I did great. Good. I did That's good. great. I did good. That's great, yes. You will feel smarter if you watch the show. You will be smarter. It's just a really, uh, it's a super funny, super smart show about sort of like what it means to be a good person. It's about four humans that are in the afterlife that are working on how to be better people. Ted says it's a, sh a show about moral philosophy wrapped in a fart joke. <laughs> Which is... That is such a perfect that's way it, to put right? it. Yeah. It really is. You know where I got hooked on this show is one of my favorite films of all time was called Defending Your Life. Yeah. And there were so many elements that kind of pulled at me from right. that that tied into this. Right, yeah, that is definitely, there's a similar vibe there, although we sort of go off the rails in this show, which I don't want to spoil. So if you haven't watched it, after this, plug your ears, watch it, don't talk to anybody <laughs> about it, because there's a lot of twists and turns that it's you're, cool. yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to be spoiled. So you're sort, you're, well, I think you could tell from that clip, you're an all-knowing, kind of a Siri sort of a thing. Yeah. Sort of a person. So what would you want to tell yourself if you were your character? Oh, yeah. Or what would you ask yourself? Like, that works either way. Okay, so I think if I had a Janet, mm -hmm. basically my character is Janet, she knows everything, she can give you anything, tell you anything, she's the best. She can explain anything. Anything. You don't know. Yeah. I feel like there are times in my adult life when I realized that I maybe like didn't pay attention to a certain subject in class or whatever, and people are talking about like history or <laughs> and something, like, and I'm like, oh, oh cool, yeah, would be great. I'd be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> so I think having a Janet to like whisper in my ear, you know, like like which president was which. Or yeah, whatever. it would yeah. be like having a, like like right. It would be like having a superhero quality. Yes, totally. Yeah. Um, I was told what we I, just we just met, so I don't know if this is true, but I was told that. We have something in common. Are you a pit bull owner? I'm a pit bull <gasps> owner. And by, uh, and I, there's no such thing as an owner. I know, a pit bull in your family. Penny! Oh, that's oh, cool. I love her so much. Yeah, she's my, oh, well, okay, so should I explain what we're looking at? Oh. This is, I, I, we, ha, we live in LA in like a smallish house with a not big backyard, and I, we were playing indoors, and I threw a oh. toy through the window. <laughs> And uh, yeah, she's a really, she's a good dog. She's my first dog. She's four years old. We got her when she was two from a she's shelter a in LA. Baby. Yeah, she is the love of my life. My husband and I are obsessed with her. I love my Isabu too. Go see if Isabu can come out and say hi to her before she leaves. <laughs> Izzy's here, Izzy's 13. I want. And she's so, she's, she's just so like, cute. she's just like your baby. She's so free I need, precious. I need some cuddles. I'm, I live in LA and we're in New York, so I'm missing oh, her Oh yeah, back. you're yeah. having doggy like, withdrawal, right? I really, withdrawal, am. I really right? am. Look, there's my baby. Excuse me, I love you. Hi. Just let her run around, she's fine. Hi. Aww. I love you. <laughs> Hi.